Jane Russell was a famous actress known for her roles in old movies from the middle of the 19th. She became well known for her work in many popular films, leaving a big mark on Hollywood. Lots of people really like her acting, and everyone has their own special memories of her movies. Whether it's her interesting presence on screen or the characters she played, people all over the world love Jane Russell's work in movies. Share your stories and memories about this classic actor below. And keep watching this video for more interesting facts about her. Jane Russell had a significant influence in the film industry during her time and afterward. She was a notable actress who helped shape Hollywood. Her work went beyond just acting. She challenged societal norms and paved the way for others. One of her most memorable roles was in The Outlaw, where she played a strong female character, breaking stereotypes. This role not only showed her talent, but also sparked conversations about gender roles in movies. Her collaboration with Howard Hughes, the producer of The Outlaw, brought attention to her and solidified her position in Hollywood. Her charisma on screen captivated audiences, making her a sought-after actress. Additionally, she advocated for causes like adoption and alcoholism awareness, showing her commitment to using her fame for good. She wasn't just a movie star, she also spoke up for social issues. Overall, Jane Russell made a lasting impact in Hollywood by challenging norms, showcasing her talent, and using her platform for positive change. In The Outlaw, the character Rio McDonald was portrayed by Jane Russell. The TV movie faced significant delays due to censorship issues. Despite being finished in February 1941, it didn't hit theaters until two years later. Initially approved by the Production Code Authority in May 1941, the film faced demands for extensive cuts from numerous state censor boards. This led to Howard Hughes postponing its release until February 5, 1943. The 115-minute version premiered in San Francisco and attracted attention, grossing $10,000 in its first week. However, ongoing hurdles, including potential release complications in New York, led to the TV movie being shelled again. Jane Russell grew up as a tomboy, surrounded by four younger brothers Tom, Kenny, James H. Russell, and Wally Russell. She attended Van Nuys High School, where she crossed paths with James Doherty, who later became Marilyn Monroe's first husband in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. In the classic film Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Jane Russell played Dorothy Shaw. Despite her lack of dancing experience, she and Marilyn Monroe managed to perform challenging choreography crafted by choreographer Jack Cole. His innovative method involved highlighting glamorous hand, arm, and hip movements in simple dance steps. Cole would repeat isolations multiple times per beat, creating complex routines that Russell and Monroe executed with precision, even performing turns and gestures together seamlessly. Impressed by his work, Russell hired him for Gentleman Mary Brunettes, where he created dynamic duets for her and co-star Jean Crane. Apart from her acting career, Russell was known for her strong Christian beliefs, hosting weekly Bible studies attended by people from the industry. She passed away in 2011, just a few months before her 90th birthday, which coincidentally was around the time of Elizabeth Taylor's death. During an interview in 1999 on a show called Scene by Scene with someone named Cousins, it came out that during the making of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, a co-star named Tommy Noonan didn't like kissing Marilyn Monroe. This upset Monroe, and she locked herself in her dressing room until the crew convinced her to come out. In 1989, Jane Russell got an award from the Women's International Center for her big role in the entertainment world. In the movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Marilyn Monroe's character wore a fake diamond ring. It looked real, but wasn't. Later, in 2018, this fake ring was sold at an auction for $15,000. Interestingly, that's the same amount of money Jane Russell's character mentions in the movie for a diamond tiara. These backstage stories give us a peek into what happened on set and add to the tales about the famous actress's career. She played Dorothy Shaw in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, showing her talent and charm on screen. She also starred in another movie called The French Line, which had a maritime theme. She got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960 for her work in the entertainment industry. She was known for her conservative political views. She wanted scenes in her movies to be less sensual, which caused debates in Hollywood. Despite this, her influence stayed strong. Her movies and beliefs left a big impression on her fans and the industry. Even now, her impact on cinema from that time is clear. In Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Jane Russell accidentally fell into the pool during the Ain't There Anyone Here for Love sequence. The director decided to keep it in the film after seeing the dailies. Later, Clark Gable, along with Jane Russell and her husband, formed a production company for The Tall Men. 
The stress of producing took a toll on his health, leading him to never produce another movie. In another scene from the movie, Jane Russell, alongside Marilyn Monroe, charges the footlights in high heels, involving scaling two small flights of stairs. While Monroe storms both flights without looking down, Jane Russell cautiously eyes the next flight of stairs at each plateau. This contrast highlights their different approaches to the scene. Facing challenges with macular degeneration and relying on hearing aids in both ears until her passing, she struggled physically throughout her life. Despite these obstacles, she found comfort and purpose in music, forming a traveling gospel quartet with Della Russell, Beryl Davis, and Connie Hines. Known simply as the Four Girls, they gained fame for their hymn singing skills. In 1954, Rhonda Fleming replaced Della, further cementing their reputation. Family was central to her. She leaves behind a heritage of love with eight grandchildren and ten great-grandchildren. Through her personal struggles and successes, her life stands as a testament to resilience and the unifying and inspiring power of music. Teaming up with Marilyn Monroe and Gentlemen Prefer Blondes was a big success for her. The studio wanted them together again for another movie called How to Be Very, Very Popular, but Marilyn didn't like the script, so they cast different actresses. In her biography, she revealed she couldn't have kids naturally, so she and her husband adopted a British boy. But that caused some issues with British authorities. They managed to get him American citizenship eventually. In The Outlaw, filmed in 1941, there were censorship issues, so it didn't get screened until 1943. When she finally saw it at the premiere, she found it slow and boring. Her life had its ups and downs, but she made her mark in Hollywood. After her divorce from Robert Waterfield in 1967, she faced tough times personally. But she stayed strong, using her inner strength to get through hard times. Many remember her great acting in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, where she played Dorothy Shaw. But when the movie premiered in France, it caused some trouble. Some scenes like one where she and Marilyn Monroe danced with boys from North Africa caused arguments. This debate reminded people of later issues like when Madonna got criticism for her music video Open Your Heart. These events made people talk about being respectful of different cultures in the media. Despite the controversies, she stayed committed to her work. Rumors might have spread, but she was laid to rest with respect. She was buried in the Santa Barbara Cemetery, and her ashes were scattered at sea, showing her connection to the ocean, much like her lasting influence on cinema. In the 1940s and 1950s, she left her mark in Hollywood with her talent displayed in various films. Notably, she appeared alongside Bob Hope in The Paleface and its sequel Son of Paleface. Her performance in these movies contributed to her growing reputation in the entertainment industry. Interestingly, her connection to the film gentleman Prefer Blondes goes beyond her role as Dorothy Shaw. Her brother, James H. Russell, had a minor role in the same movie, adding a familial touch to the production. The studio head initially considered dubbing the singing voices of both her and Marilyn Monroe for the film. However, the musical director managed to create a seamless vocal rendition of their opening number using multiple takes. As a backup plan, recordings were made with Eileen Wilson dubbing her voice, although this version can still be found on some Monroe tribute albums. Ultimately, both actresses sang for themselves, leading to the success of the movie. Following the triumph of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, she continued her career with a Broadway stint. In 1971, she replaced Elaine Stritch in the show company, showcasing her versatility and longevity in the entertainment industry. Jane Russell's first husband was her high school sweetheart, Robert Waterfield. She played Dorothy Shaw in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, a movie that did really well because of director Howard Hawks and writer Charles Lederer. Lederer made the dialogue in situations fit her, Marilyn Monroe and Charles Coburn. He also changed Henry Spofford III into an eight-year-old boy, played by George Winslow. She adopted three kids, Tracy, Thomas, and Buck Waterfield. She was in movies for many years and left a big impression on Hollywood's golden era. People all over the world loved her acting. Even though she had some tough times, she kept going and inspired lots of actors and actresses. Her story and career show how you can achieve your dreams if you work hard and don't give up. The story of her life and work continues to influence entertainment today. Featured in Killer Tomatoes' 15 Tough Film Dames by Ray Hagen and Laura Wagner, Jane Russell started her movie career as Rio McDonald in The Outlaw. After the film's success, she signed a contract with Howard Hughes for seven years. However, she soon realized that Hughes only wanted her for roles where she showed a lot of skin. Despite this tough beginning, she didn't give up easily. 
Instead, she married John Calvin Peoples in a special ceremony in Santa Barbara, California, showing her independence and determination to control her life. Even though her career had obstacles, she stayed strong in her desire to succeed in Hollywood. With hard work and talent, she made her way in the movie industry, leaving a strong impression on audiences with her performances. Her journey, full of challenges and victories, shows her resilience and strong character. Her story still inspires new actors and actresses today. Jane Russell portrayed Rio MacDonald in the film The Outlaw, which gained attention for its later colorizations. The first colorized version emerged in 1988, released by Hal Roach Studios. Later, Legend Films produced another colorized edition, along with a restored black and white version, released on DVD in 29. She herself, along with actress Terry Moore, provided an audio commentary for this release. She expressed approval of the colorization, noting the subtlety of the colors compared to earlier attempts, which often cheapened the appearance of films. In 1952, she and her husband welcomed a baby girl into their family, whom they named Tracy. This adoption marked a significant moment in their lives. Additionally, her connection to Maria Ospenskaya, as mentioned in She Wolf in Hollywood, the story of Maria Ospenskaya, sheds light on her background as one of Ospenskaya's acting students. Overall, her involvement in the outlaw's colorization process, her personal life with her husband, and their adoption of Tracy, as well as her ties to Maria Ospenskaya, offer insights into different aspects of her career and personal life. Jane Russell became famous for her role as Rio McDonald in the controversial film The Outlaw. Released in 1943, the movie gained a lot of attention during World War II, making her a popular pinup girl. Despite the controversies, her performance in the movie caught people's attention and boosted her career. In April 2020, Turner Classic Movies honored her as their Star of the Month, recognizing her significant role in cinema. This acknowledgement highlighted her lasting influence on the industry. One of her memorable roles was as Dorothy Shaw in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. In an interview later on, her co-star Marilyn Monroe recalled their time working together. Monroe mentioned the difference in their pay with Russell earning more. Despite this, Monroe spoke warmly of Russell's kindness and support on set. Throughout her career, her talent and presence made a big impact on Hollywood. Her performances continue to be celebrated, establishing her as a notable figure in film history. Jane Russell formed a close friendship with Terry Moore. Howard Hughes, known for his aviation pursuits, reportedly designed a specialized bra for her. In the movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Jane Russell played the character Dorothy Shaw. The film originally included two extra numbers, but they were cut. One of Monroe's songs, Down Boy, was recorded but not filmed. Another number, Four French Dances, was shot with Russell and Monroe performing a reprise of a little girl from Little Rock in French. Although remnants of this scene are visible in the trailer, it was modified in the final print. Instead, Monroe and Russell are depicted exiting the stage after the performance, still wearing their nightclub costumes. Their friendship withstood the challenges of Hollywood, and their collaboration remains memorable in cinematic history. Facing challenges in starting a family, she advocated for the Federal Orphan Adoption Amendment of 1953, a crucial law that allowed children of American soldiers born overseas to find homes in the U.S. In the famous movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, she played the role of Dorothy Shaw alongside Marilyn Monroe. Their on-screen connection was clear as they impressed audiences with their walking, singing, and dancing. Comedian Bob Hope affectionately called her the one and only with Marilyn Monroe. Their teamwork and performances in the film made it a timeless classic. Throughout her career, she not only displayed her immense talent, but also used her platform to support various causes, leaving a lasting impression on both the entertainment industry and society. Her contributions to Hollywood and her unforgettable performances continue to be celebrated, ensuring her lasting influence in film history. She was part of America's future, a shining star in Hollywood's golden age. In the famous movie, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, she played Dorothy Shaw effortlessly, charming audiences with her personality. Despite gossip trying to create drama, she and Marilyn Monroe were very close friends, which annoyed those hoping for conflict. They often said their friendship was as quick and smooth as their shared zodiac sign, Gemini. At that time, she was happily married to Robert Waterfield, while Monroe was with Joe DiMaggio, the famous baseball player. Despite rumors, their friendship stayed strong, showing how much they valued each other. Important people like J. Arthur Rank recognized her talent and wanted her for big roles in major movies. Some of these were the Blue Lagoon and the Red Shoes. But she didn't end up doing them, and other actresses got those parts instead, 
leaving fans wondering what could have happened. Her story lives on in Hollywood history, showing how talented and unforgettable she was on screen. Jane Russell's story is one of resilience, friendship, and the lasting charm of Hollywood's golden era. Howard Hughes famously remarked about her stardom, highlighting what he saw as its allure. She had a romantic entanglement with John Payne in 1942, which she later detailed in her autobiography. However, her heart still belonged to her high school sweetheart, Robert Waterfield, whom she married the following year. Together with her husband, they ventured into film production, forming Russ Field Productions in 1955. This endeavor led to several notable films such as Gentlemen Mary Brunettes and The King and Four Queens. Their collaboration extended until the late 1950s, marking a significant chapter in her career. Born on the same day as famous actress Judy Holliday, she has a connection with another big Hollywood star. In Korea, soldiers named two hills after her because she had a big impact. In Garson Cannon's book Hollywood, there's a story where he and George S. Kaufman saw posters promoting the outlaw featuring her. Kaufman cleverly commented on the movie's title, showing her strong presence in the public eye. She definitely made a big mark on the film industry and on those who liked her work. A strong supporter of the pro-life stance, she strongly opposed abortion, even in cases of rape or incest. In the famous movie The Pale Face, she played the character Calamity Jane, a role she also performed in a radio version with Bob Hope. Later, in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, she took on the character of Dorothy Shaw, it's interesting to note that the vintage Citroen taxi used in the film was the same one seen in the 1939 classic Midnight, but it was updated by 20th Century Fox's prop department. This taxi drove Marilyn Monroe and her character on a memorable shopping spree in Paris. With her strong beliefs and unforgettable performances, she had a lasting impact on both Hollywood and the pro-life movement. In 2006, at age 84, she organized a musical show called The Swinging Forties at the Radisson Hotel. The show, held twice a month, starred her alongside a group of local Santa Maria residents, including a choir director, lay preacher, and retired police officer. It was born out of boredom and a lack of activities for older folks in town. During the filming of The Aviator in 2004, Leonardo DiCaprio visited her to get a first-hand understanding of Howard Hughes. Through her organization, World Adoption International Fund, she facilitated the placement of 51,000 children with adoptive families. She strongly supported the Iraq War right from the beginning in March 2003. Her belief in it was clear and never changed. People noticed how dedicated she was, and as a sign of respect, a street in Iowa City, Iowa, now bears her name. This shows how much she influenced others. Her journey to fame wasn't easy. In the late 1930s, she learned acting at Max Reinhardt's theatrical workshop and later at Maria Aspenskaya's drama school for six months. These experiences helped her become the great actress she was. Despite facing challenges along the way, her determination and talent shone through, earning her a place in the hearts of many. Her dedication to her craft and her strong beliefs left a lasting impression on those around her, inspiring admiration and respect. Today, she is remembered for the impact she had on both art and society. Her contributions to both are still celebrated and fondly remembered. In The Pale Face, she played Calamity Jane, a role she also did on the radio alongside Bob Hope on January 4, 1951. The radio show lasted for an hour and kept listeners entertained with lively performances. Her acting in it made a lasting impression, showing off her talent. She was famous not just on screen, but also got peaks in Alaska named after her. They're called the Jane Russell Peaks, named after her famous figure. This recognition shows how much she influenced people, not just in movies. Her friendship with Roel Walsh lasted until he passed away on December 31, 1980. Their bond showed how strong her connections were throughout her life. Jane Russell's career had memorable performances and close friendships, leaving a big impact on entertainment and nature. Her talent and relationships are still remembered and celebrated today. In the movie The Outlaw, she played Rio MacDonald, chosen for the role by Howard Hughes after searching all over the country for an actress with a large chest. Later, in The Pale Face, she acted as Calamity Jane. A radio version of the film was broadcast on October 20, 1949 with Bob Hope and her playing their movie roles again on the Screen Guild Theater. After her third husband passed away in April 1999, she retired to Santa Maria, California to be near her youngest son. Getting used to the calm life of the coastal town, she found comfort in its peaceful atmosphere. Despite her once busy career, she enjoyed the simple life there, surrounded by the sound of ocean breezes and the warmth of the community. 
Looking back on her journey, she often remembered the characters she played in movies with fondness. She cherished the memories they brought her and how they were a part of Hollywood's history. Jane Russell, recognized for her roles in timeless films such as The Pale Face and Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, played a crucial part in Hollywood. In The Pale Face, she embodied Calamity Jane, delivering a memorable performance where her character's sharpshooting skills echoed a famous scene from The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Another notable role was as Rio McDonald in The Outlaw, though a poster mix-up caused some confusion among viewers. However, it was her collaboration with Marilyn Monroe and Gentlemen Prefer Blondes that grabbed attention. Russell's autobiography unveiled a close bond with Monroe, often coaxing her out of the trailer for filming. These glimpses into Russell's career underscore her significance on the silver screen. In Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Gwen Verdon coached the stars, including Jane Russell and her dance and walk, ensuring each step exuded elegance and grace. Monroe received less sex appeal guidance compared to Russell, who received more personalized attention from Verdon. It's said that Verdon even coined a term for their swaying bottoms in one particularly memorable scene, showcasing her attention to detail in every aspect of the performance. She attended the inauguration of President Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1953, marking a moment of political significance in her career. In The Outlaw, Howard Hughes took a keen interest in enhancing her curves, designing a special bra for her. However, she found it too uncomfortable to wear during filming. Secretly, she disposed of Hughes' creation and opted for her own bra, improvising by padding the cups with tissue to maintain the desired appearance. Interestingly, the discarded bra ended up in a Hollywood museum, though its display misrepresented its actual use in the film, perpetuating a glamorous myth. These anecdotes paint a vivid picture of the lengths to which individuals in the industry would go to shape and mold the image of stars like her, underscoring the intricacies of Hollywood's golden age. In December 1952, Jane Russell and her husband Robert Waterfield welcomed a 15-month-old British boy into their family, naming him Tommy Cavanaugh. This act reflected their desire to expand their family and provide a loving home for a child in need. The adoption showcased her commitment to nurturing and caring beyond her career in the film industry. Her role as a mother extended beyond the screen, demonstrating her compassion and dedication to family life. The adoption of Tommy Cavanaugh added a new dimension to her life, enriching it with the joys and challenges of parenthood. Her decision to adopt underscored her belief in the importance of family bonds and the significance of providing a stable and loving environment for children in need. This moment in her life exemplifies her as not only a talented actress, but also a caring and compassionate individual devoted to her family and the well-being of others. In a surprising turn, despite her glamorous Hollywood image, Jane Russell led a life marked by personal tragedy. During her early years, she faced a heartbreaking ordeal when her biological parents separated. This left her and her brother alone, raised by their paternal grandmother. This early upheaval cast a shadow over her formative years, shaping her resilient character and determination to succeed despite difficulties. Despite her success in Hollywood, Jane Russell endured a devastating personal loss when her first husband, professional American football player Bob Waterfield, passed away unexpectedly at a relatively young age. This loss left a profound void in her life, highlighting the fragility of happiness amidst fame and fortune. Her ability to navigate such tragedies while maintaining her public persona speaks volumes about her inner strength. Throughout her life, she faced numerous challenges, both personally and professionally. Despite the glamour of her Hollywood career, she grappled with profound sadness and loss behind the scenes. Yet, she persevered, leaving a lasting impact on the silver screen and inspiring audiences with her talent and resilience. Did you know that despite her glamorous image on screen, Jane Russell faced personal struggles off screen? She endured a turbulent marriage marked by infidelity, which ultimately ended in divorce. The media attention surrounding her marital issues added pressure to her already demanding career in Hollywood. Despite the challenges she faced in her personal life, she remained dedicated to her craft, maintaining professionalism on set, and delivering memorable performances throughout her career. Throughout her life, she remained a private individual, preferring to keep details of her personal life out of the public eye. However, her experiences serve as a reminder that even those who appear to have it all can face hardships behind closed doors. Despite the difficulties encountered, her talent and resilience continue to be celebrated by fans around the world, ensuring that her impact as a Hollywood icon endures. During the filming of The Outlaw in 1941, the actress Jane Russell faced a tragic incident. The movie, known for its controversial content, had many problems. 
She found herself in a sad situation when there was a disagreement between the film's producer, Howard Hughes, and the censors. The sad fact is that her career took a hit because of the battles over censorship in the movie. Despite her great acting, the film had a lot of delays and restrictions. This unexpected turn not only affected her career, but also left a lasting effect on the movie's legacy. The challenges she faced during the production of The Outlaw show how tough the film industry was back then. It's a reminder of how things outside of an actor's control can affect their career, even if they're talented and dedicated. Throughout her remarkable career, Jane Russell faced numerous challenges. One lesser known fact is her struggle with alcohol addiction. Despite her glamorous image on screen, she battled this problem behind the scenes, often without public notice. It's a reminder that even famous people can have tough times. Despite her personal issues, she continued to charm audiences with her talent and personality on screen, leaving a lasting impression in the film world. Her ability to draw viewers into her character stories was unmatched, captivating audiences worldwide. Beyond acting, she also supported various social causes, using her fame to raise awareness and make a difference. Her influence went beyond movies, leaving a strong impact on both the industry and society. Indeed, her work continues to inspire generations of filmmakers and actors. Her life story shows how people can overcome challenges, serving as an example of perseverance and hope for aspiring artists. Her influence will remain for years to come, showing the power of cinema and the enduring spirit of its participants. Did you know that Jane Russell's breakthrough role in the 1943 film The Outlaw stirred controversy due to its provocative promotional material featuring her figure? Despite the movie's initial struggle with censorship, it eventually became a success, catapulting her into the spotlight. However, behind the glamorous facade of Hollywood, she faced personal challenges. She struggled with alcoholism, a battle she fought quietly throughout her career. Despite her inner turmoil, she remained dedicated to her craft, delivering memorable performances in films such as Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and Macau. Despite her outward success, she grappled with the pressure of fame and the demands of the industry. Her story serves as a reminder of the complexities hidden beneath the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Despite the challenges she faced, her talent and resilience left a lasting impact on the silver screen. In a lesser known aspect of her life, Jane Russell experienced a heartbreaking tragedy. Despite her fame and success, she suffered the loss of three of her children. The pain of losing a child is unimaginable, and Russell endured this sorrow three times. This deeply personal sorrow was a stark contrast to her public image, revealing the profound struggles she faced behind the glamour and fame. It's a reminder that even those who seem to have it all can experience profound grief and loss. This poignant aspect of Jane Russell's life sheds light on the complexity of human experience and the resilience required to navigate such profound challenges. Beneath the glamorous image shown in movies, there's a sad story of loss and sadness. Despite her successful career in Hollywood, she struggled with a heartbreaking experience, the loss of a child. This very sad event, kept secret from many people, made her life very difficult. Even though she was famous and wealthy, she dealt with this tragedy all alone, showing that behind the shining image of the movies, there are deep personal struggles. It reminds us that even with fame and fortune, people face their own private pains. This was the story of Jane Russell's life, showing how complicated life can be, even away from the spotlight. In an unexpected turn of events, Jane Russell, despite her glamorous Hollywood image, had a rough start to her early life. Born into a middle-class family in Minnesota, she faced tragedy at a young age when her father passed away when she was just a teenager. This loss deeply impacted her, shaping her resilience and determination to succeed in life. Despite the challenges, she pursued her dreams and eventually found her way into the limelight of Hollywood. However, behind the scenes, she carried the weight of her past with her, a reminder of the hardships she had overcome. Despite her outward appearance of confidence and success, there was a hidden layer of sadness that few knew about. Jane Russell's journey is a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity, a reminder that even the brightest stars can have a shadowy past. At a surprising turn of events, Jane Russell, despite her glamorous image on screen, faced significant personal challenges. Behind the scenes, she grappled with emotional turmoil, including struggles with depression and self-esteem. Despite her outward confidence, she battled with insecurities, feeling inadequate and misunderstood by those around her. This highlights that even those who appear strong can carry hidden burdens. Her life took unexpected twists and turns, revealing layers beyond her silver screen persona. 
She experienced personal tragedies, including the loss of loved ones and tumultuous relationships, leaving a lasting mark on her. Despite her fame and success, she dealt with feelings of loneliness and isolation, longing for genuine connection amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Throughout her career, she sought solace in her work, pouring her heart and soul into each role she undertook. Despite the challenges she faced, she remained dedicated to her craft, finding refuge in the art of acting. Her resilience in the face of adversity showcases her strength and determination. Despite these struggles, her story endures with her impact on cinema remembered and appreciated by audiences worldwide. It serves as a reminder of the complexities of the human experience, offering insight into the inner struggles beneath the surface of fame and fortune. In her personal life, Jane Russell faced a heartbreaking tragedy. She struggled with fertility issues and was unable to conceive. Despite her desire to have children, she never became a mother. This was a deeply sad aspect of her life as she longed for a family of her own but was unable to fulfill that dream. Jane Russell's journey was marked by not only her successes in Hollywood but also by this private sorrow. Despite her fame and fortune, she experienced the profound disappointment of being unable to have children, a fact that deeply affected her. This aspect of her life adds a layer of complexity to her public persona, showing that even amidst glitz and glamour, she faced deeply human struggles. In a lesser known aspect of her life, Jane Russell surprisingly had aspirations of becoming a veterinarian before finding fame in Hollywood. Despite her eventual success as an actress, she had a passion for animals that she carried with her throughout her life. However, due to circumstances and opportunities that arose, she shifted her focus towards acting, leaving behind her childhood dream of working with animals. Despite this change in career path, her love for animals remained a constant in her life, showing that she held more than just the glitz and glamour of Hollywood in her heart. Her journey to stardom wasn't always smooth sailing. Before her breakthrough role in The Outlaw, she faced numerous rejections and setbacks in her pursuit of an acting career. Casting directors initially overlooked her for being too voluptuous for traditional roles, but her determination eventually led her to Howard Hughes, who saw her potential and cast her as the female lead in his film. This moment marked the beginning of her rise to fame and the realization of her dreams in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, she faced personal struggles and tragedies, including failed marriages and the loss of loved ones. Despite the challenges encountered, she remained resilient, continuing to pursue her passion for acting and leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. Her life serves as a reminder that success often comes from perseverance and determination, even in the face of adversity. Her journey from aspiring veterinarian to Hollywood icon showcases the power of following one's dreams and never giving up no matter the obstacles faced along the way. In Jane Russell's life, she went through a very sad time. Even though she was successful in Hollywood, she had a really tough experience of losing her own child, a son. Sadly, she had to give him up for adoption when he was just a baby. This heartbreaking event stayed with her all her life, affecting her deeply despite her doing well in showbiz. The pain from losing her son was a big part of her, influencing how she saw things and lived her life even as she kept working in her career. This sad part of her life makes her public image more complicated, showing the struggles she faced behind her glamorous on-screen image. Did you know that Jane Russell once took legal action against a plastic surgeon for using her name without permission to promote his practice? It's a surprising reminder of the challenges public figures can face even in their personal lives. The incident happened when the surgeon used Jane Russell's name and image in ads without her consent. She sued him, showing how important it is to respect individuals' rights to control the use of their likeness for business. This case warns about protecting one's image and reputation in public. It also shows the difficulties celebrities encounter when their identities are used without permission for advertising. Despite the legal fight, Jane Russell stayed respected in entertainment, known for talent on screen and determination off screen. In a surprising turn of events, despite her glamorous on-screen persona, Jane Russell struggled with stage fright throughout her career. Despite her confidence on camera, stepping onto a stage filled her with dread. This shocking contrast between her poised appearance and internal struggle adds depth to her story, revealing a hidden aspect of her life behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. It's a reminder that even the most seemingly confident individuals can grapple with inner demons, humanizing the larger-than-life figures we admire. Throughout her career, she made a big impact on Hollywood. Despite her private battles, she captivated audiences with her magnetic presence and undeniable talent. 
From her breakout role in The Outlaw to her later performances in a range of genres, she left a strong impression on the silver screen. Her ability to convey emotion and depth through her characters resonated with audiences, showing she was a Hollywood icon. Despite her struggles with stage fright, her dedication to her craft never wavered. She continued to push herself, taking on diverse roles that showcased her versatility as an actress. Whether portraying a femme fatale or a comedic foil, she brought a unique energy to each performance, earning the admiration of critics and fans alike. In Hollywood history, she left a lasting impact as a reminder of the power of perseverance and talent. Her ability to overcome personal obstacles and deliver memorable performances is a sign of the resilience of the human spirit. Though she may have grappled with her inner demons, she emerged as a beloved figure in cinema, leaving behind a body of work that continues to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers alike. In an unexpected turn of events, it's revealed that Jane Russell, famous for her alluring roles in classic Hollywood films, initially dreamed of becoming a doctor. However, fate took her on a different path, leading her into the world of entertainment. Going deeper into Russell's life, it's clear that her journey had both highs and lows. Despite her success on the big screen, she faced personal challenges, including a turbulent marriage and struggles with alcohol. These difficulties unveiled the complexity beneath her glamorous exterior. Despite the hardships, Russell stayed strong, carving a place for herself in Hollywood history. She is remembered not only for her great performances, but also for her resilience in tough times. Her story reminds us of the ups and downs of the human experience. Looking back, Jane Russell's life shows how destiny can be unpredictable. From humble beginnings to stardom, she navigated a path full of unexpected twists. While her journey may have taken her far from her original dreams, it eventually led her to make a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. In Jane Russell's glamorous Hollywood career, there's a sad part of her life that many don't know about. When she was just a kid, her birth parents got divorced, which was really tough for her. This broke up her family, and her mom got married again, so she had to move to Southern California. Adjusting to this new life wasn't easy for the young girl. She faced challenges and uncertainties, navigating through the complexities of blended families and a new environment. This early hardship probably had a profound effect on her, shaping her into the strong and determined individual she became as she dealt with the unpredictable ups and downs of showbiz. It's a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour, even the most famous faces can carry hidden sadness, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Buried beneath the glamorous facade of Hollywood lies a shocking truth about Jane Russell. Despite her fame and success, her personal life was marred by tragedy. Behind the scenes, she battled with infertility, a deeply saddening struggle in a society that placed immense value on motherhood. Despite her desire to have children, she faced numerous miscarriages and failed attempts at adoption, leaving her heartbroken and yearning for a family of her own. This sorrowful aspect of her life serves as a poignant reminder that even amidst the glitz and glamour, celebrities like Jane Russell grapple with profound human experiences. Surprising fact about Jane Russell despite her glamorous image on screen, she struggled with alcoholism throughout her life. She battled addiction, which often remained hidden from the public eye. Her early years were tough. Born in Minnesota, she faced the tragedy of losing her father at a young age, which greatly influenced her upbringing, shaping her resilience and determination. Her big break came when she was discovered by Howard Hughes, who cast her in the controversial film The Outlaw. Her curvy figure made headlines, but her talent and charm captivated audiences beyond just her looks. While she gained fame for her roles in movies like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes alongside Marilyn Monroe, her personal life was turbulent. She went through two failed marriages and struggled with self-esteem issues, worsened by the pressures of Hollywood spotlight. Despite her inner battles, she remained dedicated to her craft, delivering memorable performances that showcased her depth as an actress. In her later years, she focused on advocacy work, speaking out on issues such as alcoholism and supporting charitable causes. Looking back, Jane Russell's life reminds us that behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood lies a human story of triumphs and struggles, demonstrating resilience in the face of adversity. In a surprising twist, Jane Russell once shared a heartbreaking detail from her personal life. Despite her glamorous on-screen image, she faced a tragic loss in her early years when she lost her biological mother. This event shaped her upbringing and left a lasting impact on her, molding her into the strong woman we remember today. Born in 1921, Jane Russell became a Hollywood actress during the mid-20th century. Despite personal challenges, she found comfort in her acting career. 
Her breakthrough came in the 1943 film The Outlaw, where her beauty and talent captivated audiences, marking the start of her successful journey in the film industry. Her career reached new heights with roles in various films during the 1940s and 1950s. Collaborating with director Howard Hughes further solidified her status as a prominent actress. Despite facing typecasting due to her curvy figure, she navigated this challenge gracefully. Beyond acting, Russell showcased her musical talents, releasing successful albums. Her captivating voice and stage presence endeared her to audiences worldwide. Her various talents made her an icon of the silver screen. Despite success, Russell's personal life had struggles. Tumultuous relationships and adversity were faced with courage and determination. Throughout it all, she remained dedicated to her craft, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment world. In later years, Russell engaged in charitable endeavors, reflecting her compassionate nature. Her performances and influence on popular culture continue to live on. Her journey stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In a surprising twist, she once shared that she was adopted, which shocked many of her fans. This new information added complexity to her already interesting life story. Despite her fame and success, not many knew about this personal detail until she decided to talk about it. This disclosure gives us a glimpse into her challenging experiences and how she showed strength in facing difficulties throughout her life. It reminds us that behind the glitz of Hollywood, there are often hidden stories of hardship and determination. Her revelation led to conversations among her fans, making them think about identity and family connections. People found it interesting how her glamorous on-screen image contrasted with the real struggles in her life. It proved that being human involves dealing with complex situations and wanting acceptance. Her bravery in sharing her truth, despite potential criticism, strengthened the bond between her and her audience. She became more than just a movie star. She became a symbol of honesty and resilience, encouraging others to embrace their own truths. Her life story continues to connect with people worldwide, showing the impact of being truthful and discovering oneself. In a surprising turn, one lesser known fact about Jane Russell's life was her brief venture into gospel music. Despite her fame in Hollywood, she released an album of religious songs in the 1960s. This unexpected move showed a different side to her, revealing a depth beyond her glamorous image. People used to seeing her in sultry film roles were surprised by her leap into spiritual music. However, despite her talent and dedication to the project, the album failed to grab much attention from mainstream audiences. Nevertheless, she persisted in her passion project, pouring her heart and soul into each track. Her ethereal voice resonated with sincerity and conviction, offering a glimpse into her innermost beliefs and emotions. Despite the album's commercial disappointment, it remains a showcase of her artistic versatility and unwavering determination to explore new creative paths. Eventually, she gracefully transitioned back to her acting career, where she continued to captivate audiences with her undeniable talent and charm. This unique chapter in her life stands as a curious footnote in her legacy, highlighting her versatility beyond the silver screen. Deep in Hollywood's history, there's a sad story similar to Jane Russell's. Even though she looked amazing on screen, her life had some really sad parts. She lost her birth parents when she was becoming famous, and it really hurt her inside. Even though she was famous, she still felt sad about it. This shows that famous people have feelings too, and their lives are not always perfect. So, as we enjoy old Hollywood movies, let's remember that the actors are real people with real feelings just like us. In a surprising twist, the actress Jane Russell, known for her glamorous Hollywood career, had a lesser known passion for gospel music. Despite her success in the spotlight, her journey into music remained mostly unexplored. Few might have expected the star, known for her sultry performances, to have such a strong liking for gospel tunes. This revelation adds depth to her character, showing a side often overshadowed by her on-screen charm. Indeed, beneath the glitz and glamour, her heart beat to a different rhythm, one filled with spiritual fervor and musical dedication. It's a touching reminder that even famous figures have hidden depths beyond what we see.